Welcome back. Today we're going to finish up our venison taco pie recipe. Yesterday, if you remember, we actually fried up some uh, ground venison. Uh, there was two flavors. One was jalapeno and cheese. One was regular. And so I actually had two pounds and I'm going to save a pound for another day, another recipe. So we have one pound of ground venison and we also have an eight ounce can of tomato sauce, 11 ounce can of Mexicorn, also a package of taco seasoning and one cup of shredded cheese. Now you can use cheddar cheese, but I actually had a package of mozzarella cheese from the venison tenderloin that we made last week. So I wanted to use that up. And then also, most importantly, is one can of buttermilk biscuits, which we will use for the crust. So let's go ahead and get started. First of all, you wanna preheat your oven at 350 degrees. So that's what we're doing right now. And then also you will open your can of biscuits. You will spread it into a pie pan or a dish where you can make a crust. So go ahead and spread those out individually to make the crust. You will use one pound of ground venison. You will put that into a bowl. You will also put your tomato sauce. So make sure you put that in with your venison. Your package of taco seasoning. I just happened to grab Taco Bell because it sounded really good. And then also your Mexicorn. So you put that in with your tomato sauce and your venison and you mix that all around. Oh, oven's ready. So mix that all around. Really good. So it looks like that. Almost good enough to eat. I know I wish you were here to taste it and smell it because it smells really good. So we'll put that off to the side. Um, what you'll do is you will put this mixture that I have here in the bowl, you will put that on top of your crust, um, your buttermilk biscuits that you spread out really nice and evenly and made the crust. You'll put your meat mixture on top of that. You will sprinkle your cheese on top of the meat mixture and then it will look like this. Again, my mismatched kitchen mitts. But it will turn out to look like that. You will actually bake it. Uh, first, you will bake the biscuits to make the crust. You'll bake it for five minutes. Make sure they're just, you know, starting to brown just a little bit. Well, actually, after five minutes, they won't brown. But um, just to make sure it's a crust. Again, put your meat mixture on top. Put your cheese, sprinkle it on top, and then you'll put it back in the oven at 350 for another 20 to 25 minutes, and you will pull it out, and it will look like that. So hopefully you will enjoy this recipe, and if you have any questions, please uh, check our website. Our recipe will be up there here very shortly for you to enjoy. Look forward to next week. Thanks.